again, there's a variety of ways of doing it. I and mean, you could expand it, uh, you know, use your product rule. But when I'm looking at, uh, you know, maybe the quadratic formula, completing the square, all kinds of things, I'm just looking at it. I think it's a square root rule. And I'll put this one down. I'm going to say x plus 1 squared. I'm going to divide both sides by 4. And you get 3 quarters. So I think it's, it looks really like the square root. x plus 1 equals plus or minus the square root of 3 over the square root of 4. Well, that's going to be the square root of 3 over 2, because the square root of 4 is 2. So I think I'm there. What do I get? x equals. That would be minus 1 plus or minus the root of 3 over 2. By the way, I consider this to be a good answer. A lot of teachers say, oh, you got to get one term. Let me do that now. x equals. What do you get there? Common denominator of 2. Then you get minus 2 plus or minus the root of 3. I'm going to factor out a minus sign. Minus. You get 2 minus plus root 3 over 2. I'm going to write down the two numbers. First number is going to be 2. I'm sorry, the opposite of 2 mi minus root 3 over 2. The second number is the opposite of 2 plus root 3 over 2. All right. I'm going to say that's also a good answer. I think the easiest one I came up with was the first one. And I want to point out the key. Let me get my red pen out. Just give me a second to get it. This certainly is in the key, and it's right over here. This is what x is. They ask you to solve for x, you solve for x. What else did I do? I wrote it like this over here. And I want to point out that's also written over here. All right? So, I, you know, I've pulled out the minus sign, and I, I got that. I also wrote it as two separate numbers. All right? So I wrote this one down. Hope you can see that clearly. And I wrote this one over here. And again, I hope you can see that clearly as well. All right? So I'm going to say probably the simplest answer to write down, but you should be aware, particularly if you're a multiple exam, you might not be looking at that answer in the multiple exam. You'd have to figure that out. Thank you.